haven't always been a runner. I started running when my youngest was six. I'd always wanted thin legs. I'd never liked the shape of my legs. And so somebody told me that the quickest way to do that was to take up running. So that, that's how I ended up on that treadmill, age 36. Pressed the button and started doing a sort of walk-run sort of process. And after a few months, um, I'd set myself a goal to run a mile in 10 minutes. I have no idea where I got that 10 minutes from. Um, but that was my sort of goal. And when I could do it, I was so chuffed. I was absolutely thrilled to bits. It made me feel as if I'd got a pair of wings and I was just flying and I, I couldn't walk the next day. That feeling of just freedom, I suppose, it was, it was fantastic. And I've never looked back since. Running for me has taught me a huge amount about myself. It's given me back my confidence, which somewhere along the line I, I lost. I'm a much stronger person than I was before. I'm not frightened of my body, I'm not frightened of food. I had this phobia for, about food for years and years and years and, and thought of food uh, um, as sort of something that would make me fat. Now food is, is a fuel. If I don't, it's like a car. If I don't feed myself, I'm not gonna get anywhere. This will be the finish line for my world record. I have to run up the steps of the city hall and I think at that stage, I'll be very emotional, very tearful. I'll be a mess probably, but at the same time, I'll be very excited because I would have finished. It'll, it'll be, I hate using that word epic, absolutely hate using that word, but it would be an epic, epic finish to stand on those steps. And I'm feeling quite emotional just thinking about it. It's just, it's very emotional, isn't it, that? Oh, I've sort of visualized running up there and doing that so many times. And yet two people have just failed to do this because, you know, for various reasons. And you just think, what makes me any better?